so it is like a thousand degrees this week and we have no air conditioning besides the wall unit in our bedroom so it is quite toasty sometimes i i aspire to live an aesthetic online life but like my reality is just it's just too far from that so while i'm having my coffee and i'm gearing up for the day i just thought i would give like a little life update and talk about what i'm sort of working on this week and and this summer in general so a few weeks ago i was unexpectedly laid off from my job which was a big bummer not just because of totally obvious reasons but you know I really loved the people I worked with I worked for a small company so I loved all the people I loved my job like most of us can relate that it's just it's not often that you can find like a job where you like everybody and you like what you do and all that stuff but it's a small business and my family growing up had a small business so I totally understand I know these things happen but anyway so I have been figuring out what exactly I am doing especially you know this summer we have this like kind of weird opportunity so you may know from watching my YouTubes but definitely if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok you probably definitely know that we have been renovating our house for years and years and years coming on 10 years this summer which is insane our house when we bought it needed a lot of work not just cosmetic stuff but just like the whole works in order to save it and keep it from literally crumbling but within like the first two or three years of us owning this house we love this house but we realized it's just not our forever house it's just not set up quite right for us it's not in the quite right location it's just there's a lot of little things about it that are just we adore it we're so glad to be here and so glad to have this opportunity and we're so glad that we get to be part of its history and saving it but it's just not a forever house for us we have been still working to lovingly restore it and you know do our best to also set it up so that hopefully you know other families can get to enjoy it in the future but we are sort of at this stage where we're actually almost getting done i mean we have some big things to finish up and do so like we just started our bathroom renovation which is mostly my husband working on that but one of the big projects that i specifically need to finish is refinishing the side of the house and over the years as we've had to literally rebuild some of the structure like the stucco falls off and you have to redo everything i actually have a video last summer that i talk a little bit more about it because i was sort of doing it for the first time last summer and also testing out paints and all that fun stuff so i'll link that last summer things got busy because i had just got started it just took me a super long time to do one small area of our house but this summer i really need to finish the house <laughs> so that is what we are working on so with stucco you can't do it when it's too cold and obviously you also can't paint when it's too cold so my hope is we are trying to push through and get as much stucco done while i have the time this summer and by as much done i mean finish it finish the dang thing so we're gonna try to do that no we're gonna do that we're gonna do that. We're gonna finish the stucco this summer. We're gonna paint the house. Our poor house that has looked so sad from the outside is finally going to look cute again, which I am so excited to finally see it live up to its potential because it just, it's, it's adorable. It's such an adorable house, but with all the structural damage that was here when we got here, it just, it's, it's looked sad while we fixed it because unfortunately the fixing doesn't necessarily look all that pretty, but it's finally time to make her look pretty. Thought it'd be fun to vlog a little bit and you know kind of take you along as I navigate stuccoing the entire house. <laughs> so yeah that is what we are working on this week. A real quick recap of what I've done so far. So this is the area that I did last summer. Last week I did get started on the stuccoing. So I did the whole skirt all the way around to there. And then I did, you know, to the windows all the way around to there. You can see part like up there, the stucco is pretty good, but I'll just have to like blend it to, in to match. So hopefully that won't be too bad. We do have scaffolding set up, which we have more too to make it taller, but not super excited about. Don't love working on scaffolding, although I've done it before, but I'm just not a big fan of heights. <laughs>
I am sorry. I am so sweaty. I am pretty darn excited that this week I was able to get sort of these two walls um, done and like met up. I am sorry if you can hear the birds. The birds are losing their minds, which I feel like always happens every time I try to use my camera on the patio. Sorry, but that's, we just, we're gonna live with the birds. I am really excited that I got these two walls met up with the original stucco sort of blended in. When I got started, I was nervous. And actually just leading up to this whole project, I've been nervous because I wasn't sure how long this would take. It felt like just a lot to think about restuccoing the house this summer. I've been sort of nervous about whether or not I can do it and how long that'll take. Like last summer when I did the the one small, very small area, I can't remember exactly how long it took, but I it took a while. Like it took a while for sure. And so I was worried that honestly this was going to take me forever. Like I was like, I, I'll i be 80 before I'm done stuccoing this house. And especially since I haven't done it since last summer, I wasn't sure if it would take me like a long time to get back in the groove and like get, get you know, sort of a hand for it again. But I honestly like picked it up again kind of quick. I feel like I, once I got a groove, which happened pretty quick, I, I started really moving fast. And also when I got a new bag of stucco, which was a game changer. I did not realize that first bag of stucco that I had at the beginning of the week. That was from last year. It had been like sitting in our shed all winter and I just pulled it out and started, I just, you know, I like to use what I've got. So I was using that, but then we had to make a Home Depot order anyway. So we ordered some more. When I finished off the old bag and I opened up the new bag, I was like, oh my gosh, game changed amazing. Anyway, I've been kind of enjoying like vlogging this process. I don't know, maybe it's not the most exciting thing to watch, I don't know. But to me, I kind of feel like this is a really big project and I kind of want to document it just even for the sake of myself. So I'm kind of thinking I might do like this weekly vlog because I plan on working on it most of the time, like most days a week. So my thought is right now that maybe I'll just do a weekly vlog, you know, to kind of follow this project along and see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully the rest of it goes as well as this has. Honestly, I think that this probably was the worst of it. There might be a few other tricky spots in the house, but I do think these are the biggest walls that I had to completely stucco. The other spots are 